Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, we adore you, we exalt your holy name. Thank you for your grace, thank you for your mercy, thank you for your love, thank you for your kindness, Abba Father. There is no other God but you, King of all kings. Lord of all lords, we love you, Jesus, we adore you. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you for your love. Hallelujah. Praise the sweet name of the Lord. God bless you, Sister Destiny. Wow, Father, we love you and we adore you. Have you finished dancing? I have left you dancing. Yes, sweetie, I have left you dancing. I was uh, dancing with you. <laughs> Anyway, how have you been? How is your day? Wow, Father, we thank you. We adore you. We exalt your holy name. Thank you because of your grace. Thank you because of your mercy. Thank you because of your love. Thank you because of your kindness. Thank you because of whom you are. You are a great God. You are a mighty God. You are an awesome God. I love you so much. I love you, King of all kings. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you. We adore you. Arriba la gadabu raba shekete riba li yarada. Zeri kadabu rama nagadi yarida shendirida. Zeri ala kadabu raba shakata ya raba lage. Thank you, Jesus, for your greatness. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you for calling us your own. Thank you for the precious blood. Thank you for dying for us, so oh God. The amazing grace, the amazing love. Thank you for so much blessings. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for vindicating us, oh God. Thank you for making us your own. Ori alada la la ba soko to yori ba laga di araba shaka tayari zelika dabo rama laga dabo raba shaka tayari zari la la ba 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 zoko to yori ba liga da 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 da. Thank you for your presence in this place, oh God. Feel this priest with your presence. Thank you because of this broadcast. I soak it in the blood of Jesus. I soak the viewers in the blood of Jesus. Everything that you're going to do here tonight, it's all because of you, Jesus. Uh, thank you because you're going to speak. Uh, thank you because you're going to locate your people. Thank you because you're going to meet to their point of desires. Thank you because you're going to settle their issues. And thank you because you're going to give a solution for their lives. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we love you. This is internet we sanctify and soak it with the blood of jesus and we declare and declare every evil eye we let the little blindness in the name of jesus every cunningness of the enemy we destroy it in the name of jesus we take power and authority that has been given to us in the name of jesus the name that is above all other names and now we declare and declare that tonight this is the day that the lord has made us and we must read rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus because Lord today you have something for us today you want to locate somebody and God all the glory all the honor all the adoration all the praises unto you in Jesus name huh people of God good morning thank you for watching thank you always for sharing ha I know today somebody is expectant we have seen God doing great things through this platform. We have seen God locating people through this platform. And we have no doubt that Jesus is in this platform. And Jesus is going to take care of your issue tonight in the name of Jesus. Because tonight we want to speak about a season of separation. Hallelujah. God bless you. I can see you. Let me share. Take your time to, to share this video. Call your friend. Hariba la gadabu raba shandi ya raba la gadeji. Juri ala gadabu raba zeke te buriba la gada. God bless you. She pay fear. God bless you. God bless you. Somebody share the video. We want to have a good moment here because... The God who okay. did yesterday, he's Let going to do today. 
the god who located somebody yesterday is going to locate you tonight god bless you comment as you log in as and as you share the lord is here his presence is here aria lagada bo ria ba sheke te ribalada zari kada bo rabare ke te ribalada sheke ah there is a sweet atmosphere there is a sweet atmosphere in the sanctuary today an atmosphere to receive an atmosphere to rejoice an atmosphere to help you to believe God more, an atmosphere to help you to continue cont trusting God. I'm telling you, the Lord is here tonight. Ari alada ba shekete ribali, zari alaga da bo shekete bo ribalaga da bari. Ah, shedi arana kana na mazeke te rida da da. Father, we love you, we adore you, we exalt you. We honor you. You are a great God, a mighty God. God bless you, Sister Panda Kashikuka. I believe you are from Zambia. If you are not from Zambia, you are from Zimbabwe or South Africa. That name, Panda Kahende Kashikuka. Wow, it's a very long name. Very long but a very sweet name i can see you people of god i feel the presence of the lord all over me and today i have been meditating about time for separation and it is not only today it's like uh, oh god bless you namibia namibia eh hey, she's from namibia and she pays she she prefer salty where are you from <laughs> from namibia uh hallelujah praise the name of the lord good tonight is a good day for us yesterday i didn't did come on live video i was so tired from from work but yesterday the day we had our 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 last video about god who provides for everyone and you people you know how the lord helped me at least for those who came or who watched the video we also want to appreciate the nico nico family those who want to wa to watch while uh at the background they don't want to comment they don't want to be known they are here but the uh, through this in this ministry you can yeah uh, you correct you connect you believe and you collect we do not do private things the Lord has not given us the grace to pray for you privately. So if you think uh, we will finish two hours video, then I come again to start pray for you or to attend to you. That is wrong. It is good to put things clear. I see all these people who take their time to come and watch. They take their time to come to come. Uh, they, they pay the uh, the uh, internet uh, they, as they work they are listening to me so people of god we want to put things clear and straightforward i have been taught i have not been taught uh, like that i don't want to enter in, into those i don't know uh, private prayers private deliverances no we declare here you connect you receive and case closed and that is what happened last time Every one of you, those who are in Princess Belemzi ministry, you know how the Lord uh, last time told me to do a video about how he blessed me and delivered me from the spirit of death through Princess Belemzi. And yesterday you saw God locating Brother Jared. Brother Jared immediately, we logged off the video. He saw a seed. He sent me a seed. And I told him, relax, God is going to send people to take care of you and it happened yesterday so i don't need any other private things if you have prayer request be courageous enough post it here we finish business here and in case you feel you want to inbox me you better have be have prayed because if the lord does not lead me to attend to your message i won't we want to put away all this nonsense of false prophets. So, 
that is it and that is how it is so today i am blessed a uh, gift i see you god bless you so much stella my darling i see you people god bless you for sharing god bless you for watching today it's like a talk it is like a chat so please people of god let us all be involved what do you understand by the term separation you people you know i am a teacher and teachers do allow debate preachers we do not allow debate questions all that but you know for uh, uh, teachers we do allow questions answers debates what do you understand by the word separation in layman language uh, according to your dictionary to your mother tongue what do you understand by the word separation so that we can go ahead with our today's talk with our today's chat every day is not preaching every day is not deliverance every day is not prophet, uh, prophesying sometimes we need to talk like people like human beings Sometimes we have to sit down and agree. Sometimes we have to sit down and disagree. Sometimes it is time to prophesy. Another time is time to teach. That's what the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes. Number three, from verses one, that there is season for everything and even separation God bless you, woman of God, Rita Christopher. Love you so much. I was on your video and I was blessed. <laughs> you know, we people from Princess Belemzi Ministry, we know how to bless each other. The word of God in the book of Ecclesiastes, number three, says that there is season for everything. So there is also season for separation. Separation, according to me, means pull yourself aside or pull yourself away from others, from something, from a cloud, from a thing. That is what I understand by separation. Maybe another one can tell us what do you understand by the word separation. God bless you, Rita. Yeah, Nyamboke, long time. What do you understand by the word? By the word separation. Praise the name of the Lord. The book of Ecclesiastes, number three. The book of Ecclesiastes was written by the wise man Solomon. It is also a song or a poem. God bless you. I'm asking Sister Destiny, what do you understand by the term separation? Yes, nurse the baby. People of God comment so that we continue with this debate. I am a teacher. I am more, more a teacher than a preacher. And the Bible tells me in the book of Ecclesiastes 3, everything that happens in this world happens at the time God chooses. He sets the time for birth and the time for death. The time for planting and the time for pulling up. The time for killing and the time for healing. The time for tearing down and the time for building. He sets the time for sorrow and the time for joy. The time for mourning and the time for dancing. The time for making love and the time for not making love. The time for kissing and the time for not kissing. He says the time for fighting and the time for losing. The time for saving 
and the time for throwing. The time for tearing and the time for mending. The time for silence and the time for talk. He sets the time for love and the time for hate. The time for war and the time for peace. What do we gain from all work? Let us stop there. God bless you, Sharon. God bless you, Shalom. And today we want to talk about the season of separation. The wise man have told us that in this world, everything has a season. Today it is time for teaching and preaching. So maybe tomorrow will be a day of prophesy. Praise the name of the Lord. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3. And today, I want us to focus on verse 7. The time for tearing and the time for mending. The time for silence and the time for talk. Sister Destiny says, for me, separation is when we separated from the bad friends that we want us to be in things of the world. Yeah, that is it. Separation can mean pulling yourself out of bad company. That is what Sister Destiny is saying. Pulling yourself out from anything or anybody who is not making meaning in your life and that is correct and me here i say separation season is time of quietness that is it a time to tear and a time to mend a time to be quiet and a time to speak that is nlt and for me i am reading gnt god bless you phoebe that one is very, very wonderful. The class is going well. The class is going well. And the teacher is happy. People of God, separation season is a season of quietness. Separation season is a season of loneliness. Separation season is a season that most people mistake it with a season of rejection. No. But many times we have suffered, suffered rejection and then after we experience the season of separation. Whether we like it or not, whether we are born again or we are not born again, whether we believe or we do not believe, that is it. Thank you. Class, let's continue. God bless you, Stella. This one, yes, we are doing good. Separation season is a season of goodbye. And this goodbye may not be in a very good mood or mood. Separation season is a season of self-examination. Separation season is a season where nobody and nothing will understand you. And I have said this whether you like it or I like it, I don't like it. Whether you will believe, whether you will take it or you will not take it, this season must occur in your life. This season must occur in my life. So there is nothing you can do about it for it not to happen. Christ, our Lord and Savior, 
not one time and or two time he separated himself from his own disciples to go and pray and even at the Gethsemane, at the cross of Calvary, was also his season of separation. So, season of separation can also be, will also be a season of great pain. Mm -hmm. This message is becoming hard today. But that is what the Lord wants us to speak about today. Because we have to mature so that we should not learn fr run from this person to another. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember Christ and his three disciples, Peter, John, and James, at the time of transfiguration, they were separated. So this time of separation, it is the best season to hear God, to encounter God, to build your relationship, to know who you are in Christ Jesus. And maybe, and mostly, to take you to another level. Praise the name of the Lord separation time the book of acts chapter 15 before you go to 16 apostle paul and apostle barnabas acts chapter 15 hallelujah eh, eh. A season of separation. Time for separation. I know this message is for somebody. My God cannot lie. <laughs> Hear this. Acts chapter 15, verses 39. There was a sharp argument and they separated. Barnabas took Mark and sailed off for Cyprus. While Paul chose Silas and left, commanded by the believers to take care of the Lord's grace. In this verse, Paul and Barnabas did not agree. Apostle Barnabas wanted them to go to Cyprus, while Apostle Paul wanted to go back and see the church god bless you phoebe that is it i'm reading gnt someone is posting it with nlt god bless you acts chapter 15 acts chapter 15 verses 39 god bless you phoebe and the bible says that their argument was very sharp my version says also like that. Let us see King James, what it is. This. 39. Then the contention became so sharp that they parted from one another. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed to Cyprus. While Paul chose sailors and left, commanded by the believers to take care of Lord's grace. This Acts chapter 15, verses 39. These were two believers, Apostle Barnabas and Apostle Paul. And the Bible says that the contention became so sharp that they had to separate. This is to tell you, separation will not always be a goodbye. Some separations will be, go your way, I go my way. But all in all, let us be conscious that we have a greater mandate. 
no matter how the separation will come, let us be conscious that we have a great mandate, a great assignment from His Majesty, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That one is a type of separation of two believers. And they met on the way and they were good to continue as believers. Separation does not mean that we hate each other. Separation does not mean we should carry or we should have malice with each other. No, it is a season that we have to go through. The Lord was reminding me about the separation of Father Abraham. When the Lord called him and he told him, Abraham, when God was calling Abraham, his name was not Abraham. He was called Abraham. And God was taking me back to that story. Because Genesis, it is the beginning of all things. Praise the sweet name of Jesus. God called Abraham. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Hear this. God calls, God, God's call to Abraham. I'm reading GNT, the one with NLT and King James, you can post. The Lord said to Abraham, leave your country, your relatives, and your father's home, and go to a land that I am going to show you. Now the Lord said to Abraham, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I'll show you. What kind of separation is this? God calls Abraham from nowhere and tells him, Abraham, Abraham, from today, leave your father, leave your mother, leave your country. Oh yeah, leave whatever you are doing. Abraham, leave your business in that land. Abraham, do you hear what I'm telling you? Go and to a country that I shall show you. Separation does not mean that all specifications will be given. Some separations will be just a command. Go, move, leave, separate yourself, period. People of God, even if it were you, you be Abraham. And, and somebody tells you, go, I want to be me now here. I would have asked, yeah? I go where? Which one is that country you are talking about? Can you please give me the map reference? In that country, what will I, will I get there? But people of God, separation does not mean that all specifications, references, all those answers that you need all those that the declaration that you need will be given. No. Some separations will be a command. Others will be an argument. And others will be specifically for God to have a good moment with you. Up to that juncture. Somebody is going through a separation season. The Lord have told you in a very clear voice. That Betty. Wake up. Do what I'm telling you. No question. No opinion. Just obey. Separation season. It is the best season to serve the Lord. It is the best season for you to hear God. It is the best season for you to know whom you are in Christ Jesus. Christ himself 
he was made the slain lab for us such that he went through all many things pain beatings all those because of me and you who achieve christ refused to separate himself What if Christ decided not to take the cross? What if Christ decided not to die for us? Where could we be? The Lord was telling me today that we should stop taking a season of separation as a rejection or think that there is something wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing like rejection. And if it is there, it is important. Because the Lord wants to have a moment, intimate moment with you. To speak to you. To give you new assignments. To show you things that he does not want you to see them with anybody or with anything. A season of separation. Is the season that God want us to take it seriously. There is nothing wrong with you that people are not calling you. People are no longer inviting you to whatever and whatever. People are no longer SMSing you. People are no longer calling you woman of God, man of God. There are people that the Lord want to separate you from so that he can make you what he wants you to be at this season. Let people go. Let people leave you. Be alone so that you can spend a good moment with the Lord. Stop taking a season of, of separation as a season of rejection. Nobody rejected abraham it is god himself who told him separate yourself from your father from your mother from your blah blah so this season the lord is telling me that whoever shall believe and whoever this message is the lord wants you to be calm and relax and focus on him only he wants to prune you. A season of separation is a season of pruning. The Lord wants to work on your emotions. The Lord wants to work on your relationships. The Lord wants to work on your ministries now that you are in a lonely season. Because that is the only season that you can hear God and hear God alone. God is clearing the environment. God is moving people away from you. Things. There are things you were desiring last season and you do not desire them again. There are people you were so much close to, but you are no longer close to them. It is the season of separation. And the Lord wants you to be calm, relax, and focus on him only. Ariba la gada bo jekete bi. Zoriba la gada dada shekete riba dada. Praise the sweet name of Jesus. This time and this season of separation, the Lord have not promised that it will be easy. People of God, the book of Exodus chapter 3 about the burning bush, the Bible says, and the Moses was tethering his father's in law flock. And he took, he took the flock behind Mount Moab. And that is when he saw the, the burning bush. People of God, mark you. When Moses was seeing the burning bush, nobody was with him. Read your Bible. Exodus chapter 3 
the call of Moses. When they, while Moses was taking out of the ship and the gods of his father in law Chetro, the priest of Midian, he left flock across the desert and came to Sinai, the holy mountain. Verses 2. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him as a flame coming from the middle of a bush. Moses saw that the bush was on fire, but it was not burning up. People of God, let me somebody let somebody tell me. The Bible gives even the location of the fire, and it does not mention anything else, only Moses. So this one was only Moses and God. I remember Abraham with God only. This season of separation, the Lord wants to take us through our burning bush. And you will not go in the season of your burning bush with me. You will go alone. I'm going alone. They are things that the Lord wants to show you. And the Lord wants you to put all your focus, all your mind, all your spirit, all your soul, all your energy to him. So, let people go. Let whatever is falling fall because time for separation is personal. It is individual. This one is not limited. It is not a limited company. This one is not a harabe. This one is a personal business with God. And no one will escape season of separation whether you like it or not as long as you're born again and you believe that jesus christ died and resurrection resurrected season of separation <laughs> you must experience it i know the lord is preparing somebody here and somebody is going through season of separation right now as i'm speaking you are going through a burning bush. You are there. Fire is burning from every direction. No one is calling you. No one is encouraging you. No one is financing you. No one, hey, no one is understanding you. No, no. <laughs> A season of separation is that time of loneliness. And I have realized, I myself, my eyes are more opened, spiritual eyes are more opened. I am more alert. I hear God very well when I am lonely. When nobody is caring where I am, nobody is encouraging me, I know how to encourage myself. Season of separation is time to know how to encourage yourself in the Lord. A season of separation is that time it's you and God alone. It is that time for you to believe God more, to trust God more, to pray more, to fast more. It is like when a woman is in labor. You do not go in labor with anybody. You go alone. But when you are coming out of that labor world, you are smiling. You are jubilating with your son or your daughter, are you going through that separation time now? And you are feeling discouraged. As long as you had, you had God, and he told you, Betty, leave. Some of us, God has been given, has, have, has given us 
people he wants us to separate ourselves from, but we are still holding them. God has told you stop that business. You don't hear. God has told you so and so. People of God, God has a way of, of forcing, God has a way of making things align to his own will. If you do not stop holding those people and holding those things, you will miss. You will miss the mark. You will miss the, the blessings of God. Salvation season is a process that we have to go through. You and Jesus. You two alone. I cannot help you to go through your separation season. Moses had to go through his own burning bush. Jesus Christ, at the cross, he was separated alone. All that pain. What about Paul, Peter, in the prison? They were alone and they are God. Yes. They are assignments that God wants you to do alone. There are some places that God wants to send you alone. There are some people that God wants to send in your life. But until you drop those whom you think now, they are too much connected to you, you will not experience God. Let go. The best is coming. Stop holding people. Stop holding things. Stop thinking that there is something wrong with you. Rejection is a phase that we have to go through every Christian. If they rejected our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they will reject us. They will mock us. They will persecute us. And there is nothing we can do about it. All we have is to trust God. And lean not into your own understanding. Knowing that Jesus is with you. And if Jesus is for us, who can be against us? Who can separate us from the love of God? Is it intimidation? Is it nakedness? Is it mockery? No! And nothing. Every one of us has to go through the process to be what God wants us to be. It's only that seasons are different. Today you are in your separation season. And me, I am in my jubilation season. My separation season will also come. If gold has to be gold, it has to pass through fire. Time for separation, it is time to go through fire. People of God, the three Hebrews boy, Daniel chapter 3, imagine they were separated from every other person. And the only place they could fit in for the process was in fire. But after that fire, it was known that the God was a true God. God wants to glorify himself through you after that process, after that separation. Hold on to God. He is with you. Love God more. Stop murmuring. Stop complaining. Stop begging people. Stop seeking favor from people. Stop Thinking about things that are not important. Only focus on God. And you are going to come out of that season. More strong. Refined. Beautiful. And with victory in Jesus name. What is this are you going through? Yes, that is the message today. That the Lord wants us to stop thinking that he has forgotten us. People of God, 
if you ask gold how much fire was put on it to become expensive you might be shocked so many of us are destined to be great and great people must go through great processing there is no way out of it you want to be great be ready for war be ready for mockery be ready for persecution be ready to go through fire none of us will escape the season of separation and many of us who are princess belamzi ministries followers we saw it through our mother he she went through her burning bush alone even if we were there for her there is nothing we could we did we could we could have done for her that was her own process to go through i look at today the dedication book was born brethren you are telling god that you want him to to use you mightily when you speak things they happen people of god be ready for the burning bush i am not putting fear into anybody i am just speaking the truth and the truth that is in the word of god i have said separation season it is time for processing to be refined to be pruned time to hear god well time to have an intimate relationship with your god and you cannot be in it with anyone look at the apostles of our lord and savior jesus christ our role models like apostle paul the greatest of all how many processes did, did that guy go from uh, uh, go through from one to another from one and but today we are reading about apostle paul our father of faith abraham look the processing period at the age 75 god promised him a son but the son came while he was 99 all these 25 years what were they for let me ask you people of god the university of god the greatest test that we have to pass it is the test of patience and patience is the fruit of holy spirit is the is a fruit of spirit galatians chapter 5 verses 22 the lord wants you to mature in that separation season the lord wants you to bear the fruit of spirit some of us we don't have self control and time for separation is time for self control it is time for patience it is time for endurance it is time for long suffering it is that time you have to be joyful in the lord even even if everything and everything is contradicting time of separation it is time to hope more in god that the season that is coming is for jubilation after separation there is jubilation after processing there is fruits praise the sweet name of jesus stop thinking that there is anything wrong with you there is nothing wrong with you that is a season in a process we you have to go through and the lord is with you the lord was with moses inside the burning bush the lord was with shadrach meshach and abednego in the furnace of fire daniel had to separate himself to go in lions den for him to experience god in the new in a new dimension he had to go through inside the lions den and we have to go through that people of god 
Let the church of God not lie. The beauty of our journey of heaven is suffering, persecution. That is the joy of salvation. <laughs> have you heard what I have said? In this journey of separation, or in this journey of heaven, this journey of salvation, what makes us sweet is persecution and suffering. You cannot have salvation and fail to suffer. But the good thing with our suffering is this, that His Majesty, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, has already won battle for us. We only need to relax and tell Him, God, I am here and I'm all yours. Do whatever you want to do. God, I am here and I'm all yours. Do whatever you want to do. And when you do it, you say that, leave it for God. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you encouraged tonight? Do you feel, yes, I am going to come out of this season strong, more beautiful like gold, more encouraged, more fiery, and having great zeal to serve the Lord. And if you have fallen, wake up, my brother. Fix your mess. Let's go on with this journey. There is no time for giving up. Yes. I know no one is calling you. And if they call you, they are telling you. Huh? Uh, Sister Betty. From when did you become a pastor? I'm asking you. In fact, who, who ordained you? Huh? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Did you hear very well? Did you? Eh? And if you are really born again, why are you going all through this? People of God, the season of separation, don't give dumb to outside forces. Silence them like nobody's business. Stand on your ground that you know who called you and he is faithful to take you through. He is faithful to give you victory. Yes. When they ask us whether we know Jesus, we tell them, yes. Even now that I am going through the valley of shadow of death, I know Jesus is with me. And Jesus is my shepherd. Even though I am sick now, I am healed because Jesus is my healer. Even though I look weak now, I am strong because Jesus is my strength. Even though I look poor now, I am rich because Jesus provides whatever I need. Season of separation. It's time to declare who you are in Christ Jesus without fear. Season of separation. A season to encourage yourself in the Lord. Even when nobody is encouraging you. It is time to make more calls to the heaven center more than any other center separation season it is time to give your best to the lord for him to give you the best outcome that you need and i have told you season of separation no one will understand you when you go in your home they will say you are crazy these days you are mad the way you talk the way you behave the way you act you must be mad. In fact, this madness is too high. 
when you go at your workplace, they start looking at you. There is something wrong with you. These days, there is something wrong with you. When you go to your church, not even your pastor can understand you. They will say, mm, we cannot figure out, surely, maybe there is something wrong in spiritualism. You know how they say it. But there is time to be quiet and time to talk. Time of separation. It is time to be quiet from every distracting voice and only time to talk with your God, with your maker, where your hope is, where your trust is, and where your confidence is. The Lord told me that I should speak this message because some of us, we are already in our separation season and everything that I'm speaking here, you are experiencing it. And if you're not experiencing it, the Lord is preparing you because that season is very near. And when it comes, come back and listen to this message and you shall get power and strength and courage to go through it because Jesus is with you. In time of separation, be testifying to your own self because nobody will believe your testimony at that time. Let me tell you, let me tell you, if God did not come to uh, <laughs> to tell the story of uh, Moses that I am the one who called him, I am I am the one who I am. Who could he have believed that Moses saw the burning bush and there was nobody with him there? People will not believe you, but after separation period, there will be vindication season two. Who could he have believed? If God did not come down to speak through the woman of God, Belema and Billy, who could have believed all those stories? Tell me, people of God. So, people will not always believe you. And even that, that is what the Bible says. Even in that Matthew chapter 28, that some believed in him and others did not believe in him. Don't look for help anywhere in the season of separation. Your help is only in God. And that is your best moment with your God. Matthew 28. Hallelujah. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is encouraging somebody. The Lord is. Matthew chapter 28, verse 17. After the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and he appeared to his 11 disciples at Galilee. The Bible says, when they saw him, they worshipped him, they worshiped him, even though some of them doubted. When they saw him, they worshipped they worshiped him, but some doubted. So, people of God, there is no way everyone will believe you. No way. It can't happen. Unless you are of this world. And even if you are of this world, it is not possible. Those who we believe, they will receive and they will come out, come out of that season very very powerfully i hope you are blessed by this message i hope some of you your issues have been settled and you feel peace even in that of valley of shadow of death i want you to feel the presence of the lord 
even in that burning bush. I want you to feel the presence of the Lord, even in that den of lion. Now that you are very sick and people think you are going to die, this is the season I want you to feel the healing of God over you. When everything and everybody is thinking that you are crazy, I want you to be filled with the joy of the Lord. That when you come out of that season, they shall know surely that God was with you. I have told you the season of separation. Many times you will not find anybody to encourage you. But you have to encourage yourself in the Lord. You have no option, my brethren. People will leave you in that season of separation. Huh. I have gone mine 2019. But one thing that encouraged me, it's that I didn't fail to serve God even a single day. With all those injuries that I was having, all those processes that I was going through, I have gone to court alone a whole year with nobody to start with me. But now see how I am strong. If I see another woman going through what I went through, I am ready to encourage them. Through that process, the Lord has made me a vessel of encouragement. I am more brave. I can speak about it. I can tell another about it. Go through whatever you are going through, knowing that that one shall be your message, that one shall be your testimony. And there will be no testimony without test, whether you like it or not. If you get testimony without test, that one is scam. See me today? I obeyed God and I connected my to Princess Belemzi ministry. See now, I am here encouraging you. The Lord is using me to prepare you. The Lord is using me to give my testimony. It is blessing people. They are tapping to it. They are getting delivered. They are getting blessed. What if I did not go through that? What if I was complaining and murmuring? Yes, like a human being. There is one day I asked God, Father, when I was doing all these mistakes and sinning, and where are you? Why did you not tell, tell me to stop? And one day he told me, it was necessary for you to do that mistake so that others shall learn with you. That is not the answer that I wanted anyway. <laughs> If you ask me, oh, even me myself, I would not have wanted to go through what I, whatever I went through. <laughs> but that is my destiny. And I'm happy about it. Now I am strong. I am better. I am loving God more. I am serving God more. That is why you can come here, watch me two hours, get blessed, get filled, get delivered, and you go saying, I am surely blessed and God have taken care of my issue. What if I told God I want you to kill me? I don't want to go through this. What if I committed suicide? What, what if I chose to, to sin? Who could be encouraging you now? Who could be preparing you now? Who could, who, go, who, yes. Of course, God could have found another one. But now, see, every one of us has to go that process. There is no shortcut about it. If you are not going through it now, the Lord has prepared you. It is coming. And when it comes, remember to message me. And if you are going through it now, I release the grace and the strength for you to go through it in Jesus' name. You shall overcome. You shall come out of it more strong, more better, more wiser, more refined and processed good 
for God's next assignment in Jesus' name. If you are there discouraged, I am encouraging you tonight that the Lord is with you. And Jesus loves you so much and values you so much that he has promised to be with you in that situation. Are you sick? Hold unto God because your healing is sure. And God will heal you in Jesus' name. Are you going through financial hardship? Like the way I was suffering in debt? Hold on unto God. Don't beg and don't complain. Trust God. He is sending angels on your way. And that one will be a forgotten issue in Jesus' name. Are you in your loneliness, your separation season now? The Lord is with you. Trust on God. Take that time to read your Bible. Pray. Fast. Let your spiritual ears be alert. And come back with a testimony. Because I know the God that I believe. When he speaks, he means it. The Lord will see you through. The Lord is determined to bless you. The Lord is ready to carry you along. Just be patient. Be quiet. Only listen to the voice of God and obey it. You will never regret in Jesus' name. Have you made a mistake? And you feel as if God didn't do anything about it? Let that mistake be your learning opportunity. Learn from your mistake. See positive thing in it. Don't let the enemy intimidate you. Don't let the enemy put you down. Shake off the dust and move on. Jesus is with you. You still remain a child of God. Have you fallen? Do you feel as if you want to go back? Don't give up. Soon it will be over. Soon it will be over. Believe me. I have gone through it. And if another one comes, I am ready. Shake off the dust. Forget the past. Focus on the future. Focus on God. Let God lead you from now. Let the Holy Spirit take over your mind, your body, your body, and your soul. Make a decision to live a holy life. And I promise you, this God will surprise you soon in Jesus' name. People are leaving you. People are cutting off from you. Let them go. Don't hold them. If you hold them and they are not meant to be with you, they will cause havoc in your life. Do you know what happened? L Lot caused a lot of havoc in Abraham's journey. Don't carry any baggage, malice, jealousy, bitterness, unforgiveness. Let go. Forgive those whom you need to forgive. Forget those whom you need to forget. Say sorry to those whom you need to say sorry to and move on. This is a season you have to go through. And if you want to be successful, lay every heavy burden off. Take them at the feet of Jesus and leave them there. Walk free. He has paid every cost for you. All what you need to do, it is abide in him. Love him. Live a righteous life. Wait upon him. Be patient. Wait upon him. He is coming. He is a faithful God. He cannot lie. Time for separation. It is that season and that moment when a woman is in labor. Waiting to give birth. It is a painful season. It is that season 
that needs a lot of patience. It is that season that needs you to trust God more. It is that season that you only need to focus on giving birth to that great destiny that you must get it. God will send angels, they will encourage you. The Holy Spirit is with you. He will strengthen you. He strengthened Jesus at the cross of Calvary when he was almost giving up. Let the will of God happen in your life. It is not easy. I have not told you that it is easy. I have not lied to you that it will be easy. But I have encouraged you that Jesus has conquered all for you. So victory is assured. We are already on the side of victory. Because who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world. It was important for Moses to go through that burning bush. It was important for Abraham to leave his own land to where God wanted him to go. It was not easy. It was important for, for prophet Elijah to go to the wilderness so that God can send a loving and he can have a good moment to hear God. Every one of us must go through desert or, or wilderness in life, in this life, as long as you are born again. That one is a process we have to go. But the Lord told me, hold unto him, trust him, connect yourself to people who are preaching true gospel, believe the message of cross, because it is salvation. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, May the Lord encourage you. May the Lord see you through. May the Lord provide the needed grace for you to go through that in Jesus' name. May the Lord release angels to encourage you. May the Lord provide for you in that season. May the Lord protect you in that season. May heavenly bodies encourage you in that season. In Jesus' name. Jesus has prayed for us that our faith will not fail. Don't give up. Don't feel discouraged. Don't throw the towel on now. Jesus is with you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you until we meet again. Unless there is someone with a prayer request, if you are there, hallelujah. Oh, do we have somebody with a prayer request? Do we have someone with a prayer request? or something you'd like us to know before we wind up are you encouraged are you prepared now let us know what is your feeling after that message hallelujah Do you feel that now you are ready to go to continue with journey that the Lord is with you? Don't give up. Amen. Okay. That is Sister Destiny. I want God's will to be done in my life, more of his love, and I want to know my calling. Yes. 
The Lord will reveal himself to you, what he wants you to do. And he will reveal his will to you. In Jesus' name. Bill, come and listen to him. He is about to speak to you in Jesus' name. Amen. We just, we just need to say a word and it is done. God bless you. I am good. God bless you for sharing. God bless you for watching. If there is no any other person with a prayer request, you can now wind up this video. You are blessed of the Lord. It is well. Just focus, obey God, and love God more. He is going to speak to you, strengthen you, and reveal himself more to you during the separation season. We, I, we hear God more in loneliness. We hear God more when we are alone, when we are not distracted. So you are only in that season and it will be over. It does not last forever. I love you so much. God bless you. And all the glory, all the honor to you, Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity. Whatever you have spoken through me, may it come to pass according to your will in Jesus' name. God bless you so much. Until we meet again, may the Lord give you testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom. In the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And the church said, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody say thank you, Jesus. And glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, let me see the, sing this song before I go. I don't know who knows it. I love it so much. It encourages me when I am walking through the valley of shadow of death. I love it so much. Eh? It sings. By Emmanuel Singers. Stand in silence with one door in mind. I am loved by God. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. I'm loved by God. Stand in silence with one door in mind. I am loved by God. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. I'm loved by God. In your silence, know that Jesus loves you. We have read Ecclesiastes. There is time to be quiet and there is time to talk. Time of separation, it is time to be quiet. Stand in the silence with one thought in mind that Jesus loves you. Even in that season, Jesus loves you. And if maybe you are here, you are not born again. We can be talking like this and it will be in vain. If Christ is not the Lord in your heart and in your mind. There is only one thing that makes difference in life living your life in christ jesus you are here you are not born again or you will watch this video and you are not born again it is not possible to receive the message and fail to receive the originator of the message it's it's it is a scam if I preach to you like this, I teach you like this, 
and I don't bring you to Christ, this one will not make meaning. Oh. So if you are there, you are not born again. Please give your life to Jesus. Repent. Jesus is coming. And if also you are in our midst and you have messed up, you have gone back to sin, this prayer is still for you for restoration. He is a mass of God. Confess your sin, repent, promise not to go back again. He is a good God. He will forgive you. Let us say the salvation prayer. Lord Jesus, I come into your presence as a sinner. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I believe that Christ Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for my sins to be wiped away. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. From today, I promise to follow you all the days of my life. I promise to serve you all the days of my life. I promise not to go back to my old ways. Help me, God. And from now, I am born again in Jesus' name. If you have said that prayer, now you are born again. Your past is gone and new is born. Don't go back to sin. Live a righteous life. Read your Bible. Pray every day. And also join a congregation of believers. And if you are not sure, we welcome you to Princess Belemzi Ministries. It is an online ministry where you can learn and you can grow and your faith can be built in Christ Jesus. For those who have been who had gone back, now that you are restored, sin no more. Jesus has restored you and he has forgiven you. For all of us, let us continue to trust in the Lord, to live a luscious life, knowing that he is coming very soon and he is coming for the Holy Church. Every day, let us make our lives right with God. And let us do everything according to his will. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you, Father, for the souls that have accepted you and will accept you through this video. I pray that you shall give them the grace to live holy life in Jesus' name. May your spirit, spirit of fire, of truth, Feel them right now in Jesus' name. See them through. And for those God you have restored, give them the grace not to go back to sin again in Jesus' name. God bless you. Shalom. Amen.